ledge drop off right here. And we'll go down about 10, 15 feet and then pop up over here. It's gonna be creepy, but we got this. Dude, I saw some big bass. Oh man. creepy <laughs> I can't see anything I'm never gonna get over how dumb I look with a hood on dude it has a little cap like a hat <laughs> you can move it up like this it's like <laughs> I look so stupid I didn't find too much treasure at cup bait I actually decided to move away from the spot because I saw some fishermen roll up on it and even though I was first there's not many places the fish are at right now at the river and this is definitely one of them though like this is a good spot so I'm gonna go to a new location see if I find some treasure there So far, I found this nice swim bait hung up on a log. I actually know who this belongs to. A fisherman told me that he lost his swim bait on a certain tree, and I knew exactly where it was, so I'm gonna be sure to give that back to him. These things are a little expensive too, so I'm sure he's gonna be stoked to get this back. But I also found this little spoon right here, this little bladed bait. Uh, I've never caught a fish on one of these before, but this looks brand new. We might have to give this a try later in the season. The dude must have just lost it recently, so that sucks, but Good for me. I think the water got even murkier than last time I came out here. It's extra creepy today, man. In my opinion, I think cup bait is actually the most dangerous spot at the river just because there's more fishermen that fish this spot than anywhere else at the river. And they use the thickest fishing line possible, man. Like, look at this right here. This is what I call weed whacker line. Like, look how tough this is to actually cut with my knife. It's just super dangerous. If that got wrapped around your neck and you didn't have a knife, uh, it'd probably kill you. So be very careful if you're over here swimming at cut bait. Found this old cast net right here and I'm either gonna throw this away or I'll give it to a fisherman. A lot of cat fishermen actually will remelt these weights and use them as sinkers. So, I mean, that's a lot of weights if someone wants to do that. So I thought I'd get it out of the river and maybe give it to someone. Found this rattle trap hung up on the wall. Yeah, it's definitely not the best one, but it's still pretty cool to find a nice fishing lure. I found probably like five of these spoons. I don't know where they're getting them, man, but I keep finding these. And I found a lighter. I don't even know if this works anymore. Let's see. <laughs> nope. I'm not too sure what this lure right here is for. Maybe crappy. There's a lot of skipjack in the area as well, so I think that's what this is for. Yeah, I didn't find too much today, but hopefully my luck will change when I get back from my trip. But 
Had fun, dude. When I get back, the water should be clear enough to actually look for treasure, uh, and it should be time for striped bass. All the striped bass are kind of moving up. They're so giant, man, and they're so much fun to catch. So when I get back, we'll do some striped bass fishing as well. <laughs> We're gonna take this to the next level, you guys. Like this year, it's gonna be insane. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe for more river videos in the future. It's gonna be unreal, dude. I have plans to like fish underneath the water with my scuba tank. Like. <laughs>